With an increasing prevalence of hard floors within our homes globally, we identified the need to design a machine that could not only pick up dry dust and debris, but also collect stains and spills that we find in places like our kitchens and bathrooms. The challenge with Wash G1 was we've been doing this for the first time and we're trying to understand cleaning performance and the only way for us to do this is to physically make machines and test them and improve and test again. When we were testing with wet vacuums that use suction power, we found that they may expel unpleasant odours from the vacuum exhaust. So the design of Wash G1 doesn't rely on suction. Instead, we developed a new system using two counter-rotating rollers. We developed a microfiber material with 64,800 filaments per centimeter squared. This extra high density microfiber is great for good cleaning performance. The Dyson Wash G1 also has three user selectable hydration modes that enables you to select a hydration level that is ideally suited to the type of flooring in your home. There's also a max mode, which maximizes the flow of water to the rollers to remove stubborn stains from the floor. We hydrate the counter-rotating microfiber rollers at 13 points along each roller. These secondary rollers with nylon bristles strip the large dirt and debris from that roller and collect it in the debris tray. There's one more crucial step, which is our rigid extraction edge that presses into the microfiber, extracting the dirty water and enabling us to collect it in the dirty water tank. So the collection of the dirty water and the debris will all come within this tray and there's a fine mesh inside of here that's 500 microns. And the reason for that is to separate the solid debris from the liquid. And then when it comes to disposal you can pour the liquid straight down the sink and then the tray will collect the large solid debris which makes it much easier for you to go and empty that out. Much more hygienic. We went to great efforts to design all the parts to enable them to be really easily cleaned with the wipe of a cloth. We wanted to make sure there were no tight corners or edges where dirt and debris could accumulate. At the end of your clean, you can put the machine through a self-clean mode, where it's just purging through all the tubes, rinsing off the rollers, rinsing out the debris tray, and then it just gives a bit of a deeper clean of the machine before you start your next clean.